हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बैक विद द फोर्थ वीडियो अबाउट पेरेंट्स एंड ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स पी प्रोग्राम 2022 टुडेज वीडियो इज़ अबाउट हाउ टू डाउनलोड आई एम एम एंड 5476 हाउ टू कंप्लीट देम एंड हाउ टू साइन देम इफ़ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड स्टे ट्यून्ड हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कनेडियन क्रिज्मा होप यू ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट एंड स्टेइंग सेफ If you are new here I provide information and free advice about Canadian immigration and help people to apply for Canada PR which can save them a lot of money without a further delay let's start today's video let's start with financial evaluation for parents and grandparents sponsorship IMM 5768 IMM 5768 must be completed by the sponsor and the co-signer if you have a co-signer Steps are download and fill out the form on computer, print it and sign it by hand. Why I'm saying sign it by hand because there is no instructions that how to sign this form. So be on safe side, just sign it by hand and then scan it and upload it. First question is: Is your spouse or common law partner co-signing the undertaking? So if yes, you can say yes. Otherwise, no. Full name of your spouse or common law partner. means the who is the main sponsor full name of the main sponsor spouse which could be the co-signer too so you need to provide family name and given name again if you do not have family name on your passport you can write full name here in the family name date of birth the spouse then sponsor full name here family name and given name down here you need to provide the information about your family members and person included in undertakings in effect or not yet in effect signed by you and if applicable your co-signer so let me explain this with a scenario so scenario is that i am applying for my parents right now my mom and dad means two people i previously applied for my grandma the application is still in process she haven't got the pr yet so which can be in future so that is not in effect yet i co-signed the application of my in-laws they got the pr and the undertaking is in effect so that's the scenario here so how i fill out this information here it say you you means the sponsor so one person current undertaking means how many people you are applying for right now so i am applying for my parents my mom and dad two people now previous undertakings that's about sponsor number of person included in previous undertaking you signed as a sponsor so if you signed as a sponsor any undertaking is still in effect then you need to provide the information here b2 number of person included in previous undertaking you signed as a sponsor that are not yet in effect so like i told i applied for my mother in law sorry i applied for my grandma and the application the is still in process and undertaking is not in effect yet so i wrote that here b3 number of person included in previous undertaking you co-signed where these undertakings are still in effect so i co-signed the application for my in-laws my mother in law and father in law so their undertaking is in effect because they got the pr and i am uh, responsible for that for 20 years so i wrote two people here before if i co-signed any application which undertaking is not yet in effect i will provide that information here so that's how i provide this information question number 4 you need to only complete if your spouse is co-signing the application so if your spouse is co-signing let's go through this question number 1 number of person included in previous undertaking your spouse or common law partner signed as a sponsor that is still in effect so this is number 3 my mother in law and father in law but they said if you already entered that information in number 3 b3 then don't include here so that's why i am not writing it here because then i will recalculating these people second number of person included in a previous undertaking your spouse or common law partner signed as a sponsor that are not still in effect so he he did not and i will leave it blank 
they said again if your information is filled in this column here don't fill it again here number 3 number of person included in previous undertaking your spouse or common law partner co-signed where these undertakings are still in effect so if he co-signed and which is still in effect if it is 3b1 then don't enter here again so i'm not entering and i do not have anyone here number of person included in previous undertaking your spouse or common law partner co-signed where these undertaking are not yet in effect so you don't write here if that is b2 like here my husband co-signed this application but i'm not repeating it here because i already provide this information here number 5 your spouse or common law partner if not included above in number 3 so here my parents information only this is not about my spouse so that's why i'm writing one person my spouse in the family number 6 every other family member not included above and dependent on you financially whether they are living with you or not so here you need to provide the information about your dependent children or if someone else is dependent on you financially so i have only one kid that's why i am providing information here like i am writing only one here if you have more than one kid or any other dependent just provide that numbers here so that's how number 7 automatically calculated above numbers and provided you information that you have a family of eight members and that's how then you will calculate your uh, income requirements for the program Question number eight: Statement of consent by sponsor. You can read this information here. It means that if you are saying yes here, it means you are giving the permission to IRCC to get your financial information from CRA directly. If you are saying no here, then you need to provide. Then you need to fill out this IMM five seven four eight for the financial information. So I will go yes. Provide sponsor send number here. later on we will uh, print it and sign this form question number 9 detail of your family members and person included in undertaking in effect or not yet in effect signed by you and if applicable your co-sign so you need to provide information about these people there question number 9 so let's go down again what you need to do you need to write a family name surname and then given name and then date of birth of the people there if you do not have family name then provide full name in the family name and leave the given name blank and provide the date of birth so what you need to do you need to check the question number here like here 3b1 if i have someone in 3b1 then provide that information here so i do not and then if you have 3b2 if you have someone in 3b2 if you go up i will see here like 3b2 i have one person then i need to provide the information here in 3b2 so that's how 3b3 and 3b4 and then question number 10 again you need to see that 41 42 and 43 and 44 that's how you just provide the information about the people whoever you fill the numbers there and your question number 9 and 10 will be done question number 11 your spouse or common law partner if they are not co-signing the undertaking so you need to provide the family name given name and date of birth your spouse if they are not co-signing the application because if they are co-signing then you provided that information already in question number 1 question number 12 every other family member not listed above and dependent on you financially whether they are living with you or not so here you need to provide the information about the people you wrote in number 6 how many numbers you wrote in question number 6 you need to provide that people the information here their family name first name and date of birth question number 13 this is about sponsor you need to provide the current situation about your employment you are unemployed you are em- employed or self employed provide the information here and then here in question number 14 you need to provide the detail about your employment history so make sure you will provide all the information from 2019 january 1st 2019 to present now don't leave any gaps in between so provide all detailed information start with the current one suppose i will start with 2022 january 1st to present my employer name was xyz address phone number 
what was my income you can go through your pay stubs just get roughly income there and what was my family size that time so i can say uh, five here for me then 2021 first january to this you provide that all information were there what was your family fast size that time and 2020 i just wrote here that i was employed for two months so that's how i need to provide all the information so i started with the la latest one here because october november december i was employed so i will provide that information july august and september i was unemployed i will provide that information here and then again i was employed and provide information like that family size here suppose my pm in laws got pr in 2020 so then my family size in 2019 i will say 3 here so that's how you will see your family size here make sure you match these dates here look at here like 2019 december 31st and 2020 january 1 so there should be not a single gap in between the dates so that's how you will fill out question number 14 next is about your spouse you need to provide the same information about your spouse your co-signer employment unemployment you need to choose there again co-signer should say yes to this question to avoid that delays if co-signer said no then they need to fill out imm 5748 if they say yes that's right and after that provide the sin number and again leave the signature and date for later question number 17 same employment history for the co-signer provide the employment history with income and family size here and that's how you will complete this form after completing this form print it out and then sponsor need to signature and date the form here with hand in question number 8 and co-signer need to date and signature the form here in question number 16 with hand next form is such story declaration of common law union imm 5409 imm 5409 must be completed and must be handwritten signed by the sponsor and the co-signer if they are not married they live in the common law relationship so this form must be completed by the people if they are not married suppose you and your partner is co-signing the application but you are not married living in common law relationship then sponsor and the co-signer need to sign this form if they are married they need to provide their marriage certificate or proof of marriage and they no need to complete this form who else need to fill out this form if the principal applicant and their partner they are not married if they are married they need to provide the proof of marriage otherwise they need to provide immm 5409 that they are living in a common law relationship after this whoever is completing this form it could be sponsor or co-signer it could be the principal applicant and the partner this form must be signed by the administrator of the declaration so what are the steps download and fill out the form on computer print it sign the form by hand by hand if sponsor and co-signer are doing they both need to sign it by hand a principal applicant and their partner are filling out this form they need to sign it by hand and after that the administrator of declaration they need to sign this form and stamp it who can do this notary public commissioner of oaths and commissioner of taking affidavits after completing this whole process scan it and upload it so let's have a look on the form as you see form start with country write your country and province here after that we name of the declarant like who is declaring maybe sponsor and maybe the principal applicant write the name of that person here who is declaring this form and then write the name of the partner then provide the address here and then they need to declare that we are in this relationship from how many years and then provide date from this date to this date so name of the sponsor or principal applicant their partner address the number of years of their relationship and date from and to of the relationship 
then here is in box 1 my common law partner and i have jointly signed the residential lease mortgage or purchase agreement related to residence in which we both live so you need to provide something here that what is the common between you both so if you sign the mortgage or something say yes here if you have jointly owned property other than our residence you can say yes here if you have joint bank uh, trust or credit union accounts say yes here so read this information if you guys file income tax directly say yes or no accordingly answer these questions read that questions carefully and answer them and then you need to provide uh, the about the life insurance that i have a life insurance and my partner is a beneficiary yes or no and my partner has the life insurance and i am beneficiary yes and no provide that information if nothing applies to you here then you need to provide other documentary evidence of your relationship that you guys are living together in one relationship so that's how you need to complete this one and two one two three and four so number five here need to be completed by the administrator of declaration so what you can do complete the form up to number four and then print it out and this can be completed by hand then here we need to write the name of uh, the declarant it means it could be sponsor or the principal applicant who is declaring it name of their partner name of the notary public commissioner of uh, oath whoever is declaring who is uh, stamping this form for that person country of province and the date on which date that uh, is happening then here you need to guys signature of declarant signature of the partner then the name of the person who administrated the declaration then they need to choose who was that and the signature of the person who administrated the declaration and they can put stamp on that too after that just scan it and upload this form is done next form is use of representative imm 5476 so you only need to complete this form if you are using a representative i mean if you a parents taking help from their family member or friend or if you are helping your parents to complete their application and you want to do business with ircc on behalf of your parents then you must submit imm 5476 imm 5476 must be completed signed and dated electronically by the principal applicant and the spouse of the principal applicant if there is and the representative means who is acting as a representative steps just download and fill out the application form on computer sign the form electronically and you are good to go let's have a look on the form itself you can read this information here if you want to i will start with i am appointing a representative so if i am appointing a representative i need to complete section a b and d section a in section a we need to provide information about the principal applicant so you need to complete only question number one where you need to provide the full name of the principal applicant again if you do not have the family name then provide then write whole name in the family name and leave the given name blank and then in number two you need to provide the date of the principal applicant forget about number three and four because this is not for the people who are submitting their application first time then move to section b here you need to provide the full name of the representative so who is representative suppose i am helping my parents to getting ready their application so i will provide my name here and then question number six first that your representative is not paid is a friend and family choose this and then leave these lines blank here because they are for the professional representative again part two is for the paid representative question number seven you need to provide contact information of the representative so leave these two lines here you need to provide mailing address telephone number and email address question number eight the representative means i need to electronically signature here and provide the date then question number nine is section c which is cancellation of the appointment so we are not doing this this is not applicable for us and then question number 10 the principal applicant need to declare that all information whatever in this form is true 
प्रिंसिपल एप्लीकेंट सिग्नेचर हियर एंड देन डेट एंड देन प्रिंसिपल एप्लीकेंट स्पाउस सिग्नेचर हियर एंड द डेट हियर एंड दिस फॉर्म इज रेडी टू अपलोड दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे माई कमिंग वीडियोज विल बी अबाउट आई एम एम फाइव सिक्स सिक्स नाइन एंड आई एम एम फाइव फोर जीरो सिक्स टू केयर द नोटिफिकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड हिट द बेल आइकन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग